Case Studies in Sports Science and Medicine, edited by Andy Lane, Rich Godfrey, Mike Loosemore and Greg White. It's available on Amazon and available only on Amazon and it covers the full range of sports science and medicine in a number of different sports. I'm Andy Lane, a professor of sports psychology at the University of Wolverhampton. Dr. Richard Godfrey. Rich worked for the British Olympic Medical Centre for 12 years. He worked with athletes preparing for several Olympic Games. He's worked with over a hundred elite athletes. He's currently a lecturer at Brunel University. He is an expert in the ability of applying science to practice. Dr. Mike Loosemore. Mike has been the consultant medic at a number of international competitions including the Commonwealth Games. Greg White. Greg is a professor of sports science. He was recently awarded an OBE for his services to sports science and charity. Greg has worked with elite athletes, but he's well known for working with celebrity athletes. Greg was a former Olympian himself and has taken on personally some outrageously difficult challenges, including being a member of the Ride Across America team and has swam the channel. So is there a need for a book like this? And we're going to argue with a massive great yes, because we think this is a really, really good book. Applied sports science and medicine has become an important part of the high-performance environment, and with that has been a growth in sports scientists and sports medics. And part of that then becomes a need to provide them with continuing professional development. And so why not get a lead, a group of international and world-renowned authors who really know their subjects, have experience in working with elite athletes, working in difficult situations, in planning and preparing, assessing, and put those together in a, in a book of short chapters where someone then writes a, a commentary on it so you get the idea of discussion. So practitioners can pick this book up, see, or see the 29 chapters, see a number of different areas, and go, actually, there's some really useful information in there. That is one of the goals of this book, and we hope we have got somewhere close to achieving it. So there's three big areas in where we've broken the book down. The reactive model, which is providing solutions for pre-existing problems. Second, the predictive model, which is providing solutions for events that are going to happen in the future and third the proactive model which is providing ongoing support and developing interdisciplinary teams. There's 29 case studies and they look at the range of subjects that they cover biomechanics, motor control, nutrition, physiology, psychology, performance analysis, strength and conditioning and sports medicine. So it's, the book is set up for practitioners, it's for athletes, it's for students, really it's anyone who will find applied sports science and medicine interesting uh, and want to pull some information out of it. So look at part one, look at some of those fabulous authors who have contributed to this book. Peter Terry, Peter has been to five Olympic Games as a practicing sports psychologist. Chris Beady who offers commentary, um, a former PhD student of mine and really knowledgeable in the area, highly published in the area of the effects of interventions. We've got Paul Gamble, we've got Sanjay Sharma. Sanjay Sharma, of course, is the chief medic for the Virgin London Marathon. He was the medic for the London Ride 100. He is a well-known sports medic. We have, looking at the injuries to the knee, we have people who have nutrition. We have asthma. The predictive model, providing solutions for events predicted to occur in the future. We have chapters on the Paralympics. We have extreme environments. We have preparing for a gold medal challenge. We have the effects of altitude, iron supplementation, ultra endurance such as the Ironman, hydration. We have nutritional demands and we then have a really interesting um, chapter on the end of this on providing sports science um, in to athletes with injury. Part three, the proactive model is about providing ongoing support and developing interdisciplinary teams. We start that section by looking at professional boxing and m making the weight. James Morton leads that off, and I write the commentary. We have coordination in archers. We then look at some areas of sports psychology, one a, an approach to intervention. Then we start looking at what it really is like to work in elite sport. 
Changing the tact a little, we're then looking at what it likes to be a physiologist working in professional soccer by Barry Drust, who was the physiologist who went to the England World Cup. We then have some, we have two different chapters on swimming, and we finish off this section with a really interesting chapter by David Todd and Mark Anderson, which looks at the erotic adventures of a sports scientist or not as the case may be, about what happens if one of your clients falls for you. In terms of some of the chapters, Peter Terry leads us off with Sick and Tired of Being Sick and Tired, a case study of an athlete with chronic fatigue syndrome. Peter's work with mood profiling is world-renowned. And what we get here is a nice example of how data from a self-report questionnaire can aid the practitioner identify when an athlete is not feeling at their best and encourage the athlete to explore reasons what might be causing that and also help the athlete find solutions to those causes all aided by the sports psychologist to provide the best solution for the athlete on the day that when it matters. We have Sanjay Sharma and Matt Wilson looking at the heart in response to ultra endurance running and looking at some of the data which is seems to be incompatible and offering some really nice explanations to why that might not be the case and might be the case. We have Ian McDermott doing some nice work on the knee and really illustrating what's going on there. We have Barbara Meyer's work with Elite Sport and developing a nice model to try and help someone think through what that might be like. Charlie Pedler's work with speed skaters at altitude offers a really nice example of how physiologists can um, prepare an athlete for extreme environments. We have Asker Jürgen Drop's work, Fueling the Ironman World Champion. That, um, some really nice applied work here of working the energy requirements, how the physiologists work with an athlete with specific issues and overcome that those those demands and you've, what you've got from you can see on the screen is the, the actual reality of what those what that works like and what the food that goes in and how that's used to prepare that Ironman for that performance. Of working with a professional soccer players uh, and some really nice work from Barry in terms of identifying the amount of uh, oxygen used, repeated sprint tests. The whole thing is really, really insightful in terms of unpacking what it's work, what it's like to work in that environment. So it's a great book. It really, really is a great book. They're world-leading authors. They're applying science to practice, and it covers the full range. And it is really, really cheap. And it's only, only available, only available via Amazon. So. Um, I'll meet you at Amazon. I hope you enjoy the book. I think it's really good. I've been Andy Lane and it's been a pleasure to narrate this video.